my name is Jeffrey Lipton, and I'm from the Fab at Home Project. It's an open source 3D printer project, and I'm here to tell you about the personal manufacturing revolution, a coming technological revolution that will change everything in the world just as much as past revolutions have. As soon as the next slide comes up. We are going to be putting the power of factory into your hand. What does this mean? It will mean that economics will change, that politics will change, that the way the world works will change just as much as one of the other industrial, as the other technological revolutions, specifically the Industrial Revolution. Now let's go back 200 years to just before the Industrial Revolution. This is a factory. It's also your home. Everything was made by hand, and guess what? Quality sucked. <laughs> Everything was expensive, you couldn't own that much, and overall, we're better off because of the Industrial Revolution. It's centralized manufacturing, standardized and mechanized. People's wealth exploded, because wealth is tied to time, and if you have to make everything by hand, you can't build that much shit. <laughs> now, this gives us everything from furnishing homes to cars to purchasing different outfits, but it comes with a price. Nothing is free. Why do shoes come in sizes? Why are cars solid colors? Why does every mall have the same exact kiosk selling the same exact parts to customize your phone? <laughs> because the price we paid for having more was to have it all be the same. It turned our society to be very top down. A few designed, the rest consumed. Innovation became capital intensive. If you wanted to produce or to sell, you needed millions of dollars and a market of millions of people. And quite frankly, there's not that much stuff you can sell to everyone. And this is what changed all that in many ways. It's the Altair 8800. This is what started the personal computer revolution. It's where it all began. And as a result, the world has changed in the digital revolution. When it comes to technology, it's all about bottoms up. Of the top 50 sites on the internet, they're either search engines or user-generated content. The digital world is bottoms up. It's about the people together generating for each other, about sharing, about mass customization. Because if it's virtual and it's not bottoms up, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. Now, there are places where you can sell, you can invent. Any idea you have, it just requires time and innovation you can sell. There are free marketplaces, not this one, but there are others. <laughs> and you can sell any idea you have to the entire world but it's trapped. Technology and these ideas are screaming, get me out of here. They're trapped in your screen, trapped in the virtual world, and they can't get out. Who here has ever collaborative designed and built anything in the physical world? Anyone? Okay. Digitally, we can customize and build entire websites, but we haven't been able to do it physically till now. This is a 3D printer. This is what's gonna change all of that. Eventually, people will be able to take digital design files and materials and create them and synthesize them right in your own home. How does this work? In the next slide, you'll see. <laughs> Material is added together in layer by layer fashion to create an object. Here we're printing an iPod case that's customized. Someone decided, I've got this cool idea and I want to make it, and they can. Who here has ever been able to make an iPod case before? Exactly, it takes a lot of time and it sucks. This technology has been around since the 80s, but like the old mainframe computers, it's expensive, slow, and really just terrible. That machine costs hundreds of thousands of dollars and you know a thousand dollars per pound of material, but the new kits cost two thousand dollars and you can use a tub of silicone to make whatever you want. This technology is gonna democratize innovation and mass customization, just like the digital revolution did for virtual items, but now we've got on-demand fabrication. Oh, that's a game changer. What does that mean? It means supply always meets demand. Why the hell do we need warehouses? Why do we stockpile things? Why not simply say, I need this now, let's have it. Demand increases, supply increases to match it perfectly. The basis of economics is supply and demand curves. What happens if they're always perfectly matched? I don't know, economists don't know. But this is the game-changing idea of being able to make things exactly when they're needed, customize things. What's the most customized thing in the world? Anyone have any ideas? Your computer. It's you. There's no one else like you. And now we can print your organs. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Cornelians and other people around the world are literally printing organs. There are people out there walking around with bladders that have been 3D printed and made from their own cells. This is going to change medicine, change the culinary world. There's nothing more social than food. Everyone eats and everyone likes to talk while eating. But now we can digitalize the collaborate across the world while cooking on a machine in a new way, a digitally manufactured way. Think about your next dinner party, saying, crap, a new guest showed up. What do I do, I'm out of glasses. Now you got one! <laughs> you can just make and create and innovate and share across the entire world. 
eventually, everyone's gonna have these machines in their homes and it's gonna change our life. And right now, you can buy one of these machines for $2,000 and change your life. Thank you.